check who's here to visit us today. Hi. Yeah, look at this big old thing of post-its. Beta FPV, they sent some stuff. A while back, we made a video about that little tiny FPV drone and it was a very popular video and we promised that we were gonna do a build guide and we actually went through and filmed an entire build guide and we spent days on it, right? Sam edited the whole thing and it ended up being like an hour and a half video. It just ended up being a little much and it was very complicated. So I kept working on it, trying to figure out how to make it simpler and I wanted it to be enough information for people to watch and be able to build their own. But it was just complicated. But Beta FPV reached out to us and we are gonna be doing a video with Beta FPV, with Robert McIntosh, and I think DJ, I might get in on it too, to build like the perfect little tiny Cine Whoop. I think we'll make a pretty awesome little tiny drone that actually isn't that difficult to build. Hopefully, that's the hope. They said get started with this to kind of get some practice in. This is like five packets of stickers. Here, you want one? Sam, sticker for you. <gasps> All right, so check it out. It comes with a set of goggles. This thing is freaking tiny. Comes with a little remote. And I like how it comes with a case, so everything's just in here. I got a little quick start guide right here. Extra propellers, we'll probably be needing that. Some little teeny batteries here that plug in just like that. And it just like shows me a display. What's that mean? No idea. We're gonna go ahead and start charging this up and we'll come back to this, but I'm excited. Look how freaking tiny this thing is. Also another thing, you know how I like to vlog like this? I stand behind the camera, I'm operating and I film Steve and Sam and stuff like that, but my voice back here gets muffled, right? Bang! Check that out. Deity sent this out to us. Now what's cool about it is that it has two capsules, one facing each direction. So there's an input and an output, so this output goes to the camera, but then you could also input something here to be a second mic. That way you could use this as channel one and then a lav like the Rode Video Micro as your second channel, which is cool. It's really utilizing the stereo signal that goes to the camera. We have two settings here. I imagine this one uses the front of the microphone and this other setting here uses sound from the front of the microphone as well as the back. So right now I have it set so that the microphone is only recording Steve. Go ahead. Hi. Hi, Steve. Hello. How you doing? Pretty good, how are you? Terrible. Now I'm gonna switch the setting. And now we should have two channels. So I should be able to just go around, vlog. I have audio on me and then audio on Sam. What's cracking like a booty smacking, guys? Can yeah. you hear me? I should be able to hear you. Now here's what it sounds like if I'm only using the left channels. And then now I'll switch back to the channel on my side and this is what it sounds like. While I'm on the microphone that's pointed towards me, Sam, go ahead and say something. Yeah, so maybe he didn't sound so clear. I don't know, Steve, how do you sound? Did when... you say booty smacking? <laughs> and now I'm gonna go ahead and use the left channel, which is Sam's voice, and go ahead. Hello guys, good evening, Yeah. or so, afternoon. So this is really cool, where you're really utilizing both channels, and there is no battery required for this. This is just self-power, right? It's actually quite a bit smaller too. So here's this microphone we're still plugged in compared to this microphone. See that difference? And also, I wanna try this out. I wanna plug this uh, wireless Go into here. Oh sweet, so this actually automatically becomes my second channel. That's actually really cool because now this is not only a shotgun mic but also a wireless mic. So now with just one single 3.5 mil mic jack, I can record my audio with the shotgun and my second channel turns into the wireless channel. Yeah, so you can hear Steve all the way from over here. Hi everybody. So this is what it kind of looks like. This part is connected to the camera and this wireless receiver is connected to the mic itself. Deity D4 Duo, the one to get. Yeah, D4 Duo. Yeah, that was perfect. Is it weird like looking at yourself through this camera? I think this is how you're supposed to do this. Does this feel like a video game? Do you feel like you're watching Star Wars? It's like a 1995 video, you know? <laughs> You know what's really trippy is when you walk around wearing this and you're holding your FPV drone. Cause it now feels like my eyeball is at the tip of my finger, like I'm an alien or something. You got a lead on the place? Yeah. If the place ends up being pretty dope, then you're just gonna move here in two weeks? Two to three, something like that. Two, yeah. three, two. Two I'll weeks, man. Two, two weeks, two. man, you got this. This is an option, huh? Yeah. What you think? 
I can do this. Why are you so happy? I was trying to make us smoothies on a regular basis and I had an older ninja blender, like it's probably like eight years old or something. Yeah, and then we have our magic bullet thing. And the magic bullet thing, and that one was driving me crazy because the seal would always come loose and it would leak and it would be a mess. Went on the Google, I did a little research and everyone's like, get a Vitamix. And I'm like, I'm not gonna spend $500 on a blender, that's that's ridiculous, that's crazy. <laughs> but it looks like something no. happened because look at that. But your girl went on eBay and I found an open box slash gently used. The first time I turned this on, I was like, babe, it's so quiet and it, it blended everything perfect. Look, there's no spinach chunks. The other blender, spinach chunks. And this might be the best smoothie that I've made for you. Whoa. Yeah. I told you! Oh my god, I didn't realize that the magic bullet sucked. It, it sucks! It does! Oh! You know how you go to those fancy places and you get a fancy smoothie and you're like, wow, this is magical. This is Let's that go to quality. Let's Robex. Oh my god, yeah, this <laughs> no, is good. No, we got Robex at home. And you don't have to spend $10 for it. Oh my this god. This pays for itself. I'm so happy. Vitamix. Link in description, although our link will probably be a full price link, but maybe if you go on eBay like Carrie on did, eBay. you can save a couple hundred bucks. I wonder if there's like a smoothie channel. Oh, you should start one. Actually, one of the things I want to do for the course is I want to actually go and help people that are starting their channels and give them feedback, but I would record the conversations. I think there's a lot of valuable information within those conversations. So that's something I do want to do, but I do also want to launch like a couple of pilot channels really to show, you know, how you go from zero subscribers to a thousand completely organically. So easy to use and it's so quiet. Whoa, wait, that's Look, it? Yeah, no, this is, even on high, it's not that loud. Yeah, that's not bad. It sounds like you're at a Jamba Juice right now. Yeah, uh huh. Should we try to go ahead and fly this thing? We got some charged up batteries. So I know FPV tends to be really complicated, so this is nice because it's simple. I just literally plugged it in. I hit bind on this controller and I hit search. And ooh, now I got a little video signal and I see a little spot for a micro SD card. So I think I could record this feed. The signal is not that great. Oh snap, that looks like, what did you- Oh snap. <laughs> oh snap, oh my god, this is hot, dude. Oh. This is hard, dude, oh my god. I don't know how he does it. I have no idea how Robert does this. Maybe you just suck. This is tough, man. Just like the DJI drone, except for a hundred times harder. Okay, this is gonna take a lot of practice, but I'm gonna get Robert McIntosh level one day. Day two of practicing on this, I'm actually glad that I'm practicing on this little beginner one because the ones that we're gonna set up later down the line, it's gonna be a lot more expensive. Don't wanna crash those, so here's another flight. that they told me to practice on this because if this were a really expensive little Cinewoop, I'd be in a lot of trouble. I would have broken it a hundred times by now. Eventually, I'll be pro. I'll be looking back at this footage and be like, ha, I used to suck, but now I'm an expert. Not gonna lie though, this thing's actually pretty fun. I'm enjoying learning on this. I think they sell this whole kit for like 129 bucks if I'm not mistaken, so link in description. And I'm excited to do the collaboration where we could take this and put a GoPro on there, smoothing it out with real steady. But in the meantime, I just need practice. You think about it, considering that all this is 129 bucks, it's not bad. Right. I mean, I'm just looking at it as like a training tool. The batteries, you know, you get a couple of minutes. So if you yeah. could have a bunch of them, that would be very cool. They do also charge pretty fast. I get only a few minutes of flight out of each one, but they tend to charge really fast also. Oh yeah, only 300 milliamps. So it yeah. should charge real fast. Yeah. Honestly, I'm pretty obsessed with this thing right now. I really want to get really good with this thing so that when we get one with like a really good camera on here, then it's going to look awesome. 
awesome. Robert actually built me one with like the proper GoPro and everything and I immediately crashed it and it stopped working so I have to figure out how to fix it. In the meantime, should we read some comments? I'll do the reading this time. All right. Savior Daddy 23 says, I've always wondered, do you pay Sam or is he just your indentured servant? I'm a little <laughs> bit of both, I guess. <laughs> oh, snap! <laughs> I mean, <laughs> ah, I didn't Sorry. mean to scream Dude, I, like a little girl. I didn't mean to fly it into your face. This is why I actually <laughs> have to pay Sam is because I fly drones into his face all the time. I have really good medical insurance. But Sam, I have a proposition. I want to buy that Winnebago Revel. I really want one of those. Downside is I can't pay you anymore. But I'll let you step foot in the Revel sometimes. Where'd you go? Hold on, you can't run away from me. I'm gonna follow you. Oh, snap! <laughs> K Mello says, Gene, what? $150 for a tow? Also, Gene, hey, Carrie, check out this used computer chair I got for only $800. <laughs> Misu Adomikai says, hiring Dylan better than donating to charity. All the way. Swallowed a tear seeing friends working uh, together. I can't focus on these comments because I keep running this drone <laughs> into my arm. Dude, I'm excited for Dylan to make his move. He'll be here in two weeks. Yeah, man. I miss Dylan. It feels weird without Dylan. I know. He brings that chillness. Okay. I'm going to go under your chair. You ready for this? Yeah, go under my chair. Yeah. I don't know why I keep looking around with my head. It doesn't make a difference. <laughs> it's, just, it's a weird feeling, huh? It is so weird, yeah. In my head, I'm like, oh yeah, if I look this way, I'll be able to see a different view. I just have to stay stationary. Steven Parkour Sullivan says, heck yeah, that was a great idea getting more people to help with everything on your plate. And it's great that the viewers as well, because it's a more long-term sustainable content. Jasper says, looks like Dylan didn't stuck to the new style by styling Sam. I think we need to do like a, another episode, get him more stuff. Oh, okay, I'm out of battery on this. All right, well, I guess that's it. That's it, all right, thanks for tuning in. See you guys on the next vlog. Dylan's still not editing for this vlog yet. In the meantime, you're gonna have to edit this vlog. So, have fun.